Hey guys, Freezing Inferno here, and you're watching Let's Play Mega Man Extreme 2. Today we're starting the X mission. Now, since I saved my clear data from Zero Mission, I start off with four weapons. The weapons I would have gotten had X fought those bosses in Zero Mission. So that's going to help give us a nice little edge for X mission. I'm totally going to skip the intro cutscene, so let's just get right back to the intro stage where the path splits. There we go. Simple. Now, the dialogue deviates slightly. But it pretty much tells you the same point, that the island's filled with dead mavericks. Zombie mavericks, pretty much. Which is actually pretty badass, and I love it better than just computer data simulation stuff from Extreme 1. And now we get to take the bottom path, and now I get to show you the weapons. You've got Strike Chain, which you would have gotten from Wire Sponge. Bombi, which comes from uh, Blast Hornet. Sonic Slicer, which you would get from Overdrive Ostrich. And the Tunnel Fang, which you would get from uh, Tunnel Rhino. Sexy, sexy, sexy. I'm just going to use the Buster for now. Also, the legs in the background resemble the legs of that giant Reploid that's the first boss of Mega Man X2. It's weird that they added that into this stage, since it's pretty much a rip of the uh, intro stage of X2, yet that guy's not the boss. And here's where the path joins back up again. Zero comes off that little cliff there. And we're going down to fight Skullhead because there's a bit of more deviated dialogue down here. The enemy's coming. And Skullhead is fought pretty much in the same fashion. Just shoot him in the head and he's easy as hell. But don't shoot off the side of the screen. No, don't be an idiot like that. No, no. Why would you be that stupid? Jesus, God, shooting off the side of the screen. What is wrong with you? Don't you want to win this game? Don't you don't you want to beat the first boss? What, what why would you shoot off the side of the screen like that? I mean, god. <sighs> oh well. Skullhead's dead and we get more dialogue with Zero. And it's like pretty much the same stuff but different. Same but different. A paradox, I know. We're not going to see you again for a while, Zero! Also, I'm going to skip that cutscene with Gareth because it's the exact same thing. Alright, we've got our Maverick selection screen. Oh boy. Two from X1 and two from X3. Neon Tiger, Launch Octopus, Volt Catfish, Flame Mammoth. Before we go fight those, though, parts time! Oh man. Oh man. Oh. Hell. Yes. Extra buster parts right off the bat. This is going to be easy. This is going to be simple as hell. Alright, we're going to take on that Neon Tiger first. He's the start of the uh, loop, and he's pretty simple to beat, so... What the hell? Neon Tiger it is. Ra! Neon Tiger! So right away, we're going to equip those goddamn parts and completely wreck shit. Oh, man! No, I don't want... Okay. A plus two, a plus one, uh, energy up, and an extender barrier. So now we've got a plus three buster of crazy awesomeness! Oh man! That's gonna be crazy sexy! Almost as sexy as the plus one ultimate saber sexy awesomeness, but, well, nothing will be that sexy, I don't think. With all that sexy hair and the sexy saberishness that just slices shit in half! It's awesome, I tell you! It's awesome! Also, these damn things from Chill Penguin Stage. I hate them so much. Also, a Stink Chameleon Stage, too. But Well, this is the closest thing to Stink Chameleon Stage we're ever going to get in a Mega Man Extreme game, because Stink Chameleon's actually not in here. Oh, hello, Mech! We're going to need that little thing to uh, get a nice little upgrade in here. Something very, very hot indeed. You're gonna love it. It's right up here. All you gotta do is just dash jump off this little cliff. And heart tank! Hot! So we say bye bye to our mech again. Hit an auto save checkpoint and get to a pretty annoying segment with these falling tree trunks and the uh, retard bees. Which you actually get hit by as X because you can't just get in there and slice them. Now here's where the plus three buster is going to come in handy. You've got these uh, moving platforms and fucking flamethrowers! Jesus, I hate these things oh so much. 
Luckily I got that stupid retard bee. Those retard bees are also in Mega Man X4 because I've been playing that a little bit just for sort of research as to what in X4 is in Extreme 2 and those retard bees are definitely there. They're in Web Spider stage. Which is also a jungle now that I think about it. Makes sense. Hmm. Alright. Now that capsule, you're going to need a weapon I don't have yet to get in there, so we'll come back to that. Don't you worry, we'll come back to that. Unlike Zero's mode, I can't get everything all the way in the uh, right order that I do it in. Now this part really re kind of reminds me of a Sting Chameleon stage, because you climb up a cliff and then you go on a mech and you run through a stuff and things. It, it really reminds me of that. If this was water, it would be Sting Chameleon's bit dead on. A little bit near the end. And there's even a little energy on the platform up there. It's kind of weird. But we're here. We're here. We're here at Neon Tiger stage. We're going to totally kick his ass because Neon Tiger in this game is way easier than the X3 Neon Tiger. Here, here, here's what you do. He's going to wall jump here. See, what you want to do is wall jump and shoot him. Now, don't stand in the corner like I did because... He launches down right at the center there, like that. You want to stand near the middle, sort of. Then he comes down, then he comes back up, and you can wall jump up and shoot him again. And rinse and repeat, and Neon Tiger's dead, thanks to the plus three buster. Crazy awesomeness. We get some DNA souls, and that was actually very simple, thanks to our craziness. Don't you love New Game Plus? And for that, we get, not the Ray Splasher, but the Ray Claw. A weapon that's going to be highly, highly fucking useful later on in this game. So we'll save and continue. Don't want to save over our Zero Mission file. I want to keep that. Alright, next time on Let's Play Mega Man Extreme 2, we're going to take on another one of these bosses, Volt Catfish. It's going to be fucking easy. Until then, this is Freezing Inferno. Adios for now.